Hi there, it's Reese here from 501st Creations. Some of you may know me, some of you probably won't. Uh, but I'm the guy who does the TK Vox and Vortex amps, the Pico amps, the Nano amps, and so on. The, some of you already know this gear and uh, lots of you have got it. Um, and I've got a new system out, so without much ado, I'll show you. And here it is. This is the 501st Creations TK Vox Verso Amp. When I get this focused, there we go. Okay, so just a quick overview of this system. What we've got is master gain control, Hovi out, powered microphone in. We've got the auxiliary out with its own gain control. That is really, really important because that, can, that allows you to independently control the volume of, that, uh, 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 of this which uh, enables you to run all sorts of different types of speakers um, from this amplifier and the microphone here and also you notice a, a, a jack plug that's not tethered up here at the moment this is to plug into an mp3 player or your own soundboard or something like that um, this I'll be I'll be posting another video very shortly with an MP3 player plugged into it just to demonstrate. There's the 9, nine volt power pack. Um, I'm recommending that people use uh, something like the 300 milliamp hour PP3 nine volt batteries uh, now, the rechargeable ones, purely because they're powerful. Uh, you can buy decent chargers for them, and it's a really good low cost option to do. Pimped my helmet out. Um, I've really tidied it up um, because I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna start using it soon. Um, so uh, it, it's quite tidy in there. There's the vortex fan uh, just there. I'll just switch that on, which switches on with the power pack just there again. Nine volt on that one. So there's that operating. Um, and there's this little debris just here which I'll explain in a minute okay so without much ado I'm going to pop this I'm just going to turn this round and let you have a look at the other side there's the let's get this balanced there's the microphone I've got these caps at the back of my hovies because I originally drilled through and I had hovies and speakers mounted but um, a lot of you will know me for the hovies that I make which are these and I make them with integrated speakers. I've been doing that for quite a while now. And they're, they're screen accurate, beautiful little gadgets, really good value for money. Um, and uh, there's, there's one or two of us make them uh, around the world, but, uh, but not many, uh, I have to say. Okay, so I'm gonna pop the camera up. You'll see my ugly mug now. And I'll demonstrate this with just the Hovey mic tips. Okay, so that's just with this and that. Okay, so there we go. That's with the Hovey mic tip on. Uh, it might help if I actually turn the thing on. There we go, that's a bit better. So you can now hear what it sounds like. I've got the phone running as well. Uh, so you've got the, you get that AM style uh, that you got from the, from the first Star Wars movie, uh, A New Hope in 1977. And it's uh, it's a nice sort of tinny AM sort of sound, as I say. Uh, okay, so let's move on to the next bit. Okay, so you, s I showed you that lead inside. I'll just show you again. Okay, back again. All right, here we go. Okay, so what we're focusing on is this lead here. Okay, that plugs in to the auxiliary out with its own gain control. Okay, and this is the ab section of my armour and the back section. And here is the lead that I'm going to plug in to the helmet in there. Okay, and down here is a Lynx B tube hiding down there in the back of my armour. Okay, just there. It switches on. When you plug the jack plug in, it switches itself on, okay? Right, so that's that's a lithium-powered, uh, rechargeable 
stereo amplifier stereo there yeah okay so what I'm going to do now and incidentally there's there's um, this this lead comes in two different sizes uh, two lengths one to plug onto a belt and one to plug into your into your back like like this configuration and there's a bit of slack on there and it has a tethering system so that it can't pull through I just I use velcro because it's neat and tidy and adaptable okay so I'm going to pop this camera back up and I'll put the armor on and you can have a listen hear what it sounds like I'm just fighting with various bits trying to fall off the bench here that below me okay so here we go so I just have to find the lead now which is behind me just there there's the lead pop the helmet on and then slot this up inside once you get used to this it's really easy to do you just have to find where it connects to you just bear with me Okay, there we go. So that's now that's now coming through the back of the armour and through the hover tips. It's actually quite difficult on this. I'm, I'm doing this with a, a camera, uh, a, you know, a sort of a, um, a digital camera, not a, not a video cam. Um, and it's quite difficult to hear the difference in volume, but it is significant. I mean, it really is much louder. I and mean, if I just go inside my my workshop and I and I do it inside here. You may be able to hear the difference. I mean, it, uh, it's quite significant. If I just pull the um, if I just pull the lead out again, then that's just with the Herbie tips. Okay. So this system's designed to uh, to be able to pull out of your helmet really easily. I'll just demonstrate it. Okay. So there's the lead again. So pop it in. Even I'm getting used to to fixing it in. You just have to find out. There it goes. Okay, so that's in now. So basically, one of the things that troopers have had a lot of problems with is when they take the helmet off, they've got wires tethered. With this, it just pulls out. It's got strain relief built into it, so it won't get damaged, and it works really well. I'll be posting another video about this soon with more detail, but basically, there we go. That's the that's my pimped out helmet with my various gear in there and using a a B tube in the back of the armour which you may be able to see in there. So that's just inside there. And uh, I think it works really well. The um the Verso amp is gonna be on sale very very soon. Um slightly more expensive than the, the nano and pico amp because of the work that go extra work that goes into it. And I'm a I'll be providing a a, a, a a kit, a modular kit uh, that you can purchase, so that you can purchase different leads and all the different bits and pieces that you might want to fit to your armour. Okay, so bye for now. Thanks for watching, and uh, catch you soon.